Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. If you're like me, you might be considering getting a Switch Lite when it comes out later this year. So I wanted to do a video where I did some exploration to see how really does save data transferring work. Is it smooth? Is it not smooth? How does it work for data that is in the cloud or for games that don't support cloud data? So I hope this video helps you guys make an informed decision. Since firmware 8.0, this is all changed, so consider that this is from 8 onward. Now, when you register a Nintendo account on your Switch, it becomes your primary device. Now, if you want to check which device is your primary one, all you have to do is log into the eShop app, go over to your icon on the upper right, and scroll all the way down. It'll let you know whether or not it is your primary console, and it will give you the option to deregister. So if you have a unit that you're going to be taking outside and you want to be able to play offline, you want to make that your primary console. So once we're on here, we're going to go on to our second new switch. This may be your switch light, and we want to go ahead and add our same user profile. So just go into system settings, go into user. You want to import user data. Import is kind of a weird word here because really you're not importing any data at this point. So go ahead and choose it. Do you want to still use the console? Yes. Do you want to use both? Yes. Okay. We'll just link it using our Nintendo account. So go ahead and enter in your email and your password and you'll be ready to go. The difference here is that your primary console you can play offline without having to check anything and your secondary console does have to be online to make sure and validate its account whenever you use it. So if you have a switch where you're going to be going outside, make that your primary console. And if you have one that you use at home, which is primarily online, go ahead and make that your secondary one. To re-download your games, all you have to do is log into the eShop again with that same account. Go over to the upper right where your icon is and there will be an option here to download all your games. First time you access this on your new Switch, you will have to enter in your password, so don't be alarmed. Go down to re-download and you'll see all the games. For this experiment, I'm going to be showing you Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, which supports cloud data. And I'm going to be showing you Splatoon 2, which does not. Now, you, you might not even have the option for cloud data if you don't subscribe to the Nintendo Switch online service. But I'm assuming if you have two Switches that you are. Okay, so let's see how this works. This is my primary switch on top and my new switch, which I want to take outside, is on the bottom, my secondary one. And I'm going to cut out the uh, loading scenes here because that's not fun to watch through. And you can see here that I'm now a hunter. I've got this cute outfit and the Atal bow. I highly recommend you try it out if you haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and switch my character to a prowler, then save my game. And this is a way that I can show you how the data is syncing. It's a very easy way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game. It's going to be better now with the Switch Lite and you can take it outside and play. It's going to be fabulous. So now we have it, we're going to close our app. Now it's already going to be uploading my data in the background. So if I go and I press the minus button on the app, then check out the Save Data Cloud, you'll see that it's already starting to initiate the backup. Backup is auto synced so if your unit goes into sleep mode, it'll upload your save data. Or you can do it manually by simply pressing the minus button and going into the Save Data Cloud and manually uploading your data if for some reason it hasn't started. Games like Minecraft have a stupidly huge uh, save data, so it's kind of troublesome. But for games like Monster Hunter and most games in general, the data is pretty light and the transfer is very fast. Now here you can see you can go in here, you can back up or you can download very manually, which is exactly what we're going to be doing on our secondary unit when we want to switch our game data. Basically all we have to do is two buttons. We just go into the app options, save data, download our latest data, and start playing. So let's move over to our secondary unit where I have now re-downloaded the game and go into save data cloud and you'll see that there is a backup waiting to be downloaded. So all I have to do is hit download save data and it will do it. Now granted it's much faster than what you're seeing here on the screen. I am downloading Splatoon 2 in the background and that is kind of slowing it down. Um, but once you download your save data once, it will turn on the automatic save data backup. And in most cases, I don't think you're going to come home and immediately jump on and keep playing the same game. If you are, you can go ahead and backup manually and then download it. Um, but in most cases, I think your save data is already going to be updated in the cloud, which is fantastic. So all I have to do is download data and go ahead and boot the game. It will do a validation online to make sure that I do own the account and this is my Switch. Again, secondary unit has to be online to play the same games. Primary unit has can be offline, it doesn't matter. This pretty much I think is how it works for PlayStation and Xbox as well. So I go ahead and hit continue and you can see that I am a prowler so I am using my latest save data. 
Now you'll never do this, but I'll go ahead and show you anyways, just because I want this video to be thorough. But what happens when you start playing the same game, the same account on two different switches? Well, obviously for piracy reasons or just, you know, good practice and business, they don't want you to be able to play the game at the same time on two different devices. Otherwise, you just give your game to your friends. So they do have a thing here that if you do boot it up on the same devices, it will pause the gameplay on your secondary one and tell you that the gameplay has been suspended. So this is another reason why the secondary unit has to be online. So make sure that your home switch is the one that is always online so that you can play all your games. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close the software on our primary and you see we're already back into the gameplay. They don't do you, it's not like a hard boot outside of the game or anything like that. So it actually is pretty user friendly and I'm happy with the way that they implemented it. And finally, for the sake of being thorough, I will show you what happens if you have a desync in your save data. Because when you get home and you've been playing all day, it'll back up your data. Generally, what you'll want to do on your home switch is download your latest data and start playing, which only takes a few seconds. But let's say you don't. Let's say you just saved your game on your secondary and you jump right into your primary with old data. You notice I saved as a hunter, but I'm still a prowler in my primary because I never synced the data. Well, don't worry, it's actually not that bad. I think Nintendo does a fine job of managing it. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game. So now I have two conflicting versions of my save data. I have the one on my primary one, and I have the one that's already been backed up automatically on my secondary unit. When I go here, it will tell me that it has already found that there's a conflict. It'll give me dates and times and ask me which one do I want. It doesn't care. I can back up, and the one that I just did on my primary will now be the sync data, or I can download and the secondary data will be the sync data. It's up to you. So I guess this shows you that save scrumming is actually very easy to do on the Nintendo Switch, which is why games like Yu-Gi-Oh! or games that kind of rely on save data and RNG to sort of expand gameplay, they may not opt into the save data cloud option because they only want you to have one save data on one unit at any given time. And that brings us to this next section. Now, the vast majority of games support the cloud saving, but let's say you don't subscribe to Switch Online, so you don't even have access, or you're playing a game like Splatoon 2, or Pokemon, or Yu-Gi-Oh!, or some game that does not support cloud saving. Well, this is how it's going to work. So if you notice, I loaded up Splatoon 2 on my primary device on the top here. I'm like level 26, I'm already enrolled in the final fest, Team Chaos all the way, baby. And you can see that my save data is fine. Now, if I go ahead and I try to start a new game on my secondary device, you'll notice that it's just a new game because all the save data only lives on one console at a time. So my account plus my primary switch is one save data and my account plus my secondary switch is its own data as well. But they do make it very easy for you to move your data from your primary to your secondary and back and forth. It just can't coexist on both at the same time. What sucks though is that that does mean that if your primary switch let's say it has your save data and you drop it and you break it or it something happens your save data is not in your sd card it's on your switch so you're kind of in trouble there's nothing you can do about your save data which is why this practice really stinks and i'm going to hope that nintendo will allow you to do something with the sd card even though i mean if they're going to do that they may as well allow cloud saving right so we're going to go ahead and start playing the game on my secondary switch. It's the same account, but you'll notice that the data doesn't exist because this is a game that does not support cloud. So it can only live on one device at any one given time. So this will start a brand new save data and a brand new game, which is not what we want. So we're going to go ahead and close it. I'm going to show you how to transfer it. Now, instead of going to save data cloud with the minus button, just go over to transfer and save data. And all you have to do is click transfer, choose your account and choose the game data and it will send it up to send it to your other switch. So on your secondary unit, all you have to do is press the minus button, go down to manage software, transfer your save data and receive, and it just literally sends it. I think it's by a Bluetooth or something like that. The units can be in the same room. They don't have to be like right next to each other. And it will save the data from your primary over to your secondary. Now I did start a new game, so it is going to be validating my save data. So it takes a little bit of time here. Um, and it's going to ask me to overwrite my data on the secondary, but that won't be the case if you have no save data, so don't worry about that. So right now we're just moving my primary data over to my secondary switch. This will wipe the data off my primary switch, and now it'll be on my secondary, and I can pick up and play right where I left off. And when I go home, I'll just do the same thing. I'll transfer my data just by pressing the minus button, 
manage software, say, send and receive, and it'll go from my secondary back to my primary. So it's not a big deal. It works very much the same way as the cloud does, but you do need to have both units physically on in order to do it. And that's really it. It works really good in firmware version 8.0 and onward. You don't have to go into system menus. You don't have to migrate your entire profile. It's literally just the save data. So now when I want to bring it back to my primary, I just go into the app. I go into transfer save data, send, and on my primary, I hit receive. If you see, I can actually still do this in the system settings if I want to. Um, but they added in that great shortcut where I can just hit the minus button on an app and I can get there anyway. So it's really only two or three clicks. Transfer your data, receive, it'll send it back and I'm all good. Anyways, I hope this video sheds light into how this works, both for if you have the online or if you don't, or if the game supports it or it doesn't. Again, I assume if you have two switches, you probably are going to have Switch Online because it is a good service. Uh, in which case, the online backup is pretty much 90 something percent of the games. Um, and it works really good. So again, just when you get home, Make sure you go into your backup, download latest save data, and boom, you're ready to go. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this process. I think it works really well. Are you interested in the Switch Lite? Are you going to have a secondary Switch? I'd love to know your thoughts. Hope this vid helped, and until next time, happy switching.